Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In the beginning, in any land, you are born on a rock in outer space. And since it's very dark, you may want to increase the light. You can do so by bringing up a sun. Click on your ring button like this and you will see the main dialog and here's a little mountain icon which is for your area. Click it and you will see a couple of environment shapes here. The top one is for the sun so just click inside it, hold down the trigger and rotate like this and you can see the sun over there. I will close again. Now maybe we want to start by increasing the size of the little rock here so we have more place to build. Just context laser it and hit edit clone here. And now if you hold on both hands, you can stretch like this and like this. And let's save it by clicking done. So we got sun, we got a nice little platform to build on. Let's build something. Maybe we want to build a little chair. So click your ring, click create thing. And here you see the base shapes that you can use for your creations. There's a couple of pages you can page through. Let's start with the chair legs. Just drag and drop a shape like this, reposition like this. We already saw how to stretch. Hold both fingers clicked while you're doing this, or this, or this. And I will make a thin chair leg like this. And to multiply it, I just hold this one or just move my finger dot inside it and then drag out with the other hand. One thing you will notice if you do it like this is it's not perfectly aligned and the chair legs are imperfectly aligned to the ground. So we have a little trick here. Hit snap angles at the back side of the dialog. This will make sure it's always aligned and hit snap position which will also align it to where you drag it out from. So now we got four perfectly aligned chair legs. I will disable this again, drag out another shape. This will be our cushion and a little backrest. I will do this a bit quicker than usual. It doesn't really matter now, it's just for an example. Now we pick up the paintbrush to the side. We tap a color like this and then just paint in any color on any object as we wish. Maybe let's take a little cushion here, make it orange, red, brown like this and place it here. This is called thing for us at the moment. Let's click on the keyboard icon and name it chair. Now you can hit done here and we got ourselves a nice little chair. You can place it and we can also clone it as we cloned before like this and now we have two. We may also want to put this into our inventory. Your inventory is located behind your back so just grab over your shoulder, hold the trigger down and pull up the inventory. I will reposition and then I will pick up something from the world. Could be my own creation, could be the creation of anybody else. And I now got the chair in my inventory. To delete the chair again, I just grab inside it and delete like this. The actual button mapping will be shown near the help video. So we got a nice chair, but maybe we want to find another chair. So let's explore some other areas. Click on your ring again and here's the areas button. You will see all the areas here. There's popular areas or areas where there's currently people. We may want to go to... Let me search for command bridge because I saw a nice chair there before. I will enter command. There's command bridge here. So after teleporting, I'm in a spaceship walk around teleporting and I like this chair I will pick it up and place it here and now I can click the home symbol 
to go back home. I will rotate and actually I'm not in change things mode so I can't place the chair right now. So what is change things mode? Let's click on the ring. You can see change things here. If it's not glowing that means you can pick up temporary objects to throw them around. But what we want to do now is to place a chair persistently. So we click change things and now you can properly place this for everybody else to see persistently. People who are not editor in your area cannot do change things. They can still pick up stuff you set to be holdable. Let's give that a try actually. Let's create a little soda bottle and place it on the chair and make it holdable for everybody to pick up. Hit create thing again. Create your bottle. We will do this much quicker again. Just like this maybe. Don't give it a name or anything for now, but we click on dot 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 here and we click Audible. Maybe just for fun, we will also make it shatter. Hit done to save. And now my ring is glowing, which means I'm in change things mode. I want to leave change things mode because I want to pick this up temporarily, just like this. And now I can throw it like this. If this was a gun or something that you want to more permanently hold, there's also an attribute for that in the dot 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 settings. So this is nice. We got a chair, we got another commander chair, and we got a throwable bottle. What else should we do? Well, one thing you want to do, because when you are born you don't have a body, is to actually create a body or find a body in the world. If I open the ring dialog, I can click on me, and this will bring up a little mirror. Let me position myself so you can see better. So this is me right now, but you delete all that in the beginning. This is what you will look like, just a collection of body spheres that you can attach things from the world to. Let's create a very, very quick head example. I hit create thing again. Let's just keep the green and give it to eyes. maybe a little mouth. That's a very, very quick example. Let me position this here. Now, click on me again. I drag what I find in the world and put it on one of the body spheres like this. And now I'm a little alien. There's a few areas that have bodies. If you want to find them, click on areas again and the uh, search icon here, for example, you could search for body and visit any area that you find here, like body shop, which we're loading now. So this is body shop and you see collection of heads here, for example. Anything you see, you can collect and if you want to know who made it, just context laser the creation and you can see the creator is fuzzy 321 days ago and the placer is also fuzzy 80 days ago. If I like this head, I can just go into me mode and put it on again. One thing you will see is that proper heads have a mouth animation when you speak. That is actually done using scripting. Let me give you a quick example of scripting. Let's say we want a little simple animation, a cube that when you touch it turns to another color and maybe grows a bit. So let's try that. Click on create thing again. I drag out a cube. Let's make it dark green. Now you context laser it and this is the state and scripting menu. You can see right now we're on state one. Let's click state two. Now we have a second state and on state two we make it a bit bigger and maybe brighter. So now you can see it's like two animation cells. So how do we go from the first to the second layer? Well, we click on the keyboard here. It says when then, for example, when touched, then become state next in one second. We just pick the defaults here. We can also change this. And on state two, we say when starts, then become next in one second. 
to reset all the states to the first one. Click here. And now let's try this. We touch it and it grows and shrinks. Let's save it. Still works, right? Let's copy them. And now we just scripted our first cube. And this is how you can program anything in any land. You can have events like when consumed, for food, when touched, um, when touches something else, uh, when somebody gets near it, and so on and so forth. Let's keep one cube and place it here. This was a very, very quick example of creating your area. One fun thing you can do in any land is to explore and find friends to party with, to chat with, to build with, to do anything. There's a friends menu here, and if you don't have any friends yet, you would first have to add new friends by context lasering them and then saying add as friend. Let's give this a try. Let's go to the area peasant lord, for example, and see if there's somebody there. Hello. Hello. I'm, I'm making a small tutorial video. <laughs> So if I wanted to add Alpha Lord as friend, I would context laser him and click add as friend here. And now if I open my friends list, I will see Alpha Lord here. And if I'm not in the area already, I could now transport to him. Thank you. So you saw a lot of things uh, that you can do. If you have any questions, uh, ideas, suggestions, click on the little speech bubble here, which takes you to the forums. And you can click on the help forum and click on new topic and then ask ahead whatever you need. There's also a few more tutorial videos um, near this one. And maybe you want to check them out to learn more details on scripting or any other feature. Hope you enjoyed and see you in another video. Bye-bye.